Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Vlogmas Day 7. It's Tuesday. I. Okay, I'm getting a phone call. I need to take this. Hold on. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> I entered the phone call and it. Um... Oh, never mind. Here it comes again. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> Finally get that phone call figured out. It called me first and my phone triggered it as a spam call, but it was the hospital. So they called me again and it wasn't a spam call and it was pre-registering me for delivery. <laughs> so I got that done, woo <laughs> I'm trying to get off the couch now, oh Lord. Still a little sick, but I still feel, I feel better today than I have been. So it's getting better, <laughs> slowly but surely. I just printed a label for something I'm shipping. I gotta sit down and work on some of these bags because I'm feeling so much better now that I'm gonna get these done and up. They're done sewing. I just gotta run the drawstrings out. They're sitting over there on the couch. <laughs> I'm gonna sit you guys down. Don't freak out. <laughs> but I had an OB appointment today. I had an ultrasound, which I wasn't expecting. I was thinking that was gonna be the next uh, appointment. But it was this one, so. That was good because Devin was there. And he'll be at the next one too because it's when he's off as well. Put this label in this bag real quick. <clears throat> Rub it down on there, dude. <laughs> okay, so, um, what was I saying? She's on track. Her head's actually measuring big, which I knew it would because Jesse had a big head in his point. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be fun. <laughs> uh, she was face down, head down again, so no profile pictures. But they did confirm she's a girl finally. Because my OB still hasn't seen it until today that she's a girl. The, the place that we got the gender was a private ultrasound clinic. So they finally know that she's a girl for sure. Which is good. Okay, that package ready to drop off. I'm not peeing back up. <clears throat> um... She has hair. You could see it on the ultrasound. And she was actually, like she had hair. And she was holding on to some of, her, some of it with her little hand. But we still don't get to see her face. I was hoping that we could see her profile. <laughs> we haven't seen her profile since 14 weeks. So, hmm. She's just being stubborn. But she is already head down and face down and all that, which is a delivery pose. <laughs> but uh, she's still got nine weeks to go-ish, give or take. And I talked to him today about the Braxton Hicks that I was having. And I also talked to them today about uh, how I don't want to be induced unless absolutely medically necessary. Because the last, when I had Jesse, I was induced and it was really traumatic. <laughs> I do not want to go through that again unless I absolutely have to. Uh, which I did with him because we were sick. But I'm hoping this time she'll be healthy and I'll be healthy. And, and she can just come when she comes. But right now she's measuring um, almost four pounds. <laughs> She's measuring three pounds, 12 ounces. So she's gonna be big like Jessie was. Jessie was nine pounds, one ounce. So I bet she's gonna be around there too. I'm playing with a little strip off my bag. But yeah, so I finally got that printed. Let me delete it so I don't know that I printed it. Put my computer to sleep. <laughs> so I'm gonna sit over here and work on these drawstring bags. All I gotta do is put the drawstrings in them. And uh, then I'm gonna take pictures of them. I'll probably put them in the shop tomorrow, so you guys get a sneak peek of that. <laughs> I went to Hobby Lobby after my appointment because I needed to get some buttons. Oof. Let me shut my wallet. I had to get my insurance card out of it. I don't want to spill everything. I lost my debit card. Devin lost my debit card. Um, a week and a half ago, we couldn't find it anywhere, so I had to report it as lost. They locked it. And then I finally got my new one back. So I got a new fancy one now. It's got a tap to pay on it. <laughs> but I got some buttons at Hobby Lobby. They were half off this week. They, or they are at half off. I got these pretty like pearlescent ones. I can't even say it. And they were two thirty, So they were like $1.15, I guess, for six of them. And then I got these wooden ones. They were $2, so they were $1.00 because they were half off. And then I went ahead and got some uh, cotton webbing because <laughs> I do want to make some more bags uh, in the next few weeks just on my own time and probably put them up after Christmas because I do have uh, plenty of materials on hand to make drawstring bags and tote bags and zipper bags. And I have, I think, 11 
around 11, I counted them, but then I forgot, <laughs> of those uh, snap closure thingies, the crab bags, is what I call them. Someone asked me, it was in a comment, I'll reply to it later, <laughs> if I, I, I'm going to be making some of those, and I will, it'll just be probably at the end of the year, I'll put them up in the, the shop, uh, either the end of the year or maybe the super beginning of 2022, um, but I just went ahead, I got, I think, eight, eight yards, just to have some extra on hand, I have some already in there, um, but I wanted some more, you know, some white, so, because it goes with more prints. I should have got some black as well, but I didn't think about it, <laughs> but I got some, so that's what I got at Hobby Lobby today, and then we got some food, because I was hungry, and, uh, we came home, so, yeah, this ultrasound, I went ahead and laid on my side, I asked the ultrasound guy if I could just go ahead and lay on my side, because every time I lay on my back, I get sick, and he, he told me that I could, so, and I didn't get sick at all, this ultrasound, so it was nice that, uh, I didn't have to get dizzy and almost pass out and someone while we were there started cooking popcorn and I could smell it and it smelled so good it was that good like movie theater popcorn smell I wanted some so bad <laughs> but yeah so I got my drawstring stuff out here I'm gonna run all these drawstrings and all these bags there's uh 35 I think in here uh, some of them are just solid prints let me look my stuff and then some of them are like multi prints see how it's got one on the bottom and one on top and then the other side is the opposite way because these are fat quarters that i wanted to use up that was gifted to me so there's and there's like a solid one right there and then there's this one they're just i think they're cute two-toned bags <laughs> and uh the uh drawstrings are separate also like on this side it's the floral print and on this side it's the pink print i think they're cute I hope you guys like them. <laughs> but uh, that's that's the best way I can use up fat quarters for drawstring bags is cutting them that way. I think it looks nice. But yeah, so I'm going to sit here and work on that. And I'm going to record a movie and stitch video for my W square. And then I'm going to... I need to start some laundry. Because Jesse, when he was helping me clean the other day, he used a lot of our washcloths to uh, wipe down the cabinets. But he helped a lot. He wiped down the, the bathroom cabinet and the outside of the toilet. And then he went to the kitchen and was wiping down all the cabinets in there. I think that's so sweet. But he used a lot of my rags. So I got to um, wash them all. <laughs> and my, mine and Jesse's laundry needs to be done. Devin's work laundry needs to be done. So I'll probably do that later this evening. Because Devin is off tonight. So I can be doing that while he's playing with Jesse. Because <laughs> Jesse, when, every time Daddy's home, Jesse wants to play games and stuff with Devin on the TV. And then we end up playing board games and stuff a lot. Because uh, we have a ton of kid board games. And, uh... Jesse loves playing them, and I love playing them with him. I love board games. I grew up playing them all the time. I cannot wait till Jesse gets old enough to play Monopoly, because I miss playing Monopoly so bad. I was almost got Monopoly Junior, but it didn't really go on a good sale. Normally around Christmas time, it goes on a good sale, and they didn't even have it at my Walmart. So they someone either bought it all up, or uh, they just didn't have it. But I want to get a Monopoly Junior, so I can start teaching him how to play Monopoly. Because I love that game. But yeah, so I don't have any plans for tomorrow. Other than, um, I watch work on Wednesday, and hopefully the bag update. Uh, probably won't be going anywhere that I can think of, because <laughs> it's the middle of the week. But this weekend, Devin is off, so I'm sure we'll get into stuff. I know our Christmas parade is Saturday, and then the town next to us has that big tree that is synchronized with music. We go look at it every year if you've watched flat past Vlogmas is you would you'd see it because I've well, at least the last three years I believe is when they've been doing it, uh, so we'll go to that probably this weekend since Devin's off. Let's see here, I'm trying to think of the day numbers. I don't have a calendar right here with me. Um, Devin's last day of work is the 23rd of December, and then he's off until January 3rd, but he does have to work on the 28th and 29th because he's a lead. Uh in his position, whatever, I don't know, I don't know what it all is, but he has to go back to do, help do inventory on those two days. Jesse's last day of school is the 17th, it's a two hour day, they're doing their Christmas party that day, so I'm just going to take him to school, and then I'm going to park in the parking lot and crochet for two hours, um, and then, so I can pick him up, that way I don't have to just come home for a little while and then go back, and then, even though it's a mile away, he literally goes to school 1.2 miles from where we live, <laughs> but I'm just, I'm just going to sit in the parking lot and crochet that morning, take some snacks and a water with me and uh just chill <laughs> in the car but um yeah so they'll be home for a while together which is nice and then uh I'll probably make cupcakes this weekend because Jesse wants to make cupcakes 
and uh, I've been wanting to make some chocolate chip cookies because we all three love them. <laughs> and I got Christmas sprinkles to put on them. And uh, my sister-in-law asked if I was making bark because she loves the chocolate bark that I make. So uh, I've got the stuff to make it except pretzels. I have to go buy some pretzel rods. Um, and maybe some more chocolate so I can make more bark. <laughs> Instead of just a little bit. Uh, yeah, so Vlogmas will be kicking it up once the boys are home because we'll be doing more stuff together. And then Christmas will be here, and then it'll be next year, and then I'll have a baby. <laughs> so I'm looking so forward to sharing all that with you guys. Um, I can't wait to see her. Now that I was hoping so bad she'd have hair, because Jesse had a ton of hair. I was born with, like, a wig, and so was Devin. We all had a lot of hair when we were born. And I was hoping so bad that she would. And then we saw it today on our sound, and I was so excited. And she had her little hand in it, and that's the same thing Jesse did on his ultrasound. And he was born with a ton of hair. His hair was long when he was born. Uh, by the time he was a year old, it was in a ponytail because it was so long. And we didn't want to cut it until he turned a year old because of tradition. <laughs> it still broke my heart cutting his hair. Anyways, I'm just sitting here chatting. Got these cute buttons finally. These are for baby sweaters that I made uh, June. And I just haven't finished them by putting buttons on them. So I stood there. Devin helped me pick out these brown buttons. I picked out these ones for one of them. So I'll show those in my next No Catch Jam episode if I get around to sewing them. <laughs> I'll put the buttons on there and then show them to you guys in that. So I'm going to sit here and work on this. Actually, I'll probably record maybe such a video. And then I'm going to sit here and work on these bags. And then I will, I don't know. I don't know what I'd have to say. I'll pop in and check up and see. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I'm just talking. I'm just a blabber.